I, I knew Hank Aaron. In fact, I went to Cuba once with Hank Aaron to meet Fidel Castro. And Hank Aaron agreed, CDC asked Hank Aaron to do, to publicly get the shot, to make black Americans feel comfortable with the safety of the shot. So he went to Emory University at a big press conference and he took the shot on stage. 17 days later, he died. Hmm. And I published a, um, a notice on a posting on Instagram saying that Hank Aaron's death was part of a wave of deaths immediately following the COVID vaccine <clears throat> in elderly people. This was true, well documented. In fact, CDC later admitted publicly that you know uh, people were getting myocarditis and stroke and dying within a certain period of getting the vaccine. So the New York Times then did an article that said Robert Kennedy is a conspiracy theorist because the Fulton County coroner has declared that uh, that Hank Aaron's death was unrelated to the vaccine. Oh, well, I was saying, and that article was picked up all over the world, and that's when I became a conspiracy theorist, and Instagram took down my account. Oh, well, I was saying to myself, how does the coroner know this? How do you know whether the heart attack that he had or the stroke or whatever killed him was or was not caused by the vaccine? So I, I wanted to know the test that he that, that made that definitive determination. So I called the Fulton County coroner and got them on the phone, and they said, we don't know what the New York Times is talking about. We never saw Hank Aaron's body. There was no postmortem. There was no um, autopsy at all. The family buried him. And I wrote a letter to the New York Times saying, you know, you need to do a correction on this because the Fulton County coroner never saw this body. What? Now you're telling me that they, hold on. That's crazy. So they didn't do an autopsy 